We're having a little post-race party here at the Tuscan Kitchen Seaport in Boston. Uh, next up, Jamie McHugh is a mom from Plastow who ran today for her twin daughters who have a rare genetic disorder. Audrey Cox shows us how her determination to run her very first marathon was driven by the need to raise funds for the National Organization for Rare Disorders and the need to raise awareness. We love this. Come on. Jamie McHugh never thought she would run any marathon, let alone Boston. But Jamie has two very good reasons to undertake this challenge. Her 21-year-old twin daughters, Jules and Jessica. As of right now, my daughters have a few different diagnoses. Um, they, about a year ago, were diagnosed with, um, it's called CHD2, which the disease is um, epileptic encephalopathy. Um, it's a genetic disorder that um, was considered de novo, so I don't have the gene. Their father doesn't have the gene. It just happened. I know. Just 500 people in the world are afflicted with this genetic disorder. For Jules, it started at age 14 when she began having seizures. Eventually, doctors discovered a large tumor near her brain. Facing possible paralysis, Jules underwent surgery at Mass General Hospital. There was a time where I was having seizures like multiple times per day and uh, it was very scary and luckily it's greatly reduced since then. Watching her sister struggle took a toll on Jessica mentally, but she was physically healthy until last year when she had her first seizure at age 20. It was terrifying because I couldn't move like I used to and you know we didn't know what was going on what was going on in my brain um, I injured myself during the seizure um, my spine was fractured and it was you know it was really scary Jamie is running for Nord National Organization for Rare Disorders the organization has offered a lifeline to her and the girls they have a hope a cure will someday be found. That's our biggest motto is hope. I mean, that's, we're hopeful that one day, you know, things can change. We're hopeful Jesse can walk. So this is my biggest drive for running. I want to raise awareness for NORD, um, the National Organization of Rare Dise for Rare Diseases. Uh, they're just, they're working on helping my family and, you know, all other people out there, but my, biggest drive is to just raise awareness and, and get the research going like we need a cure we need we need help you know I'm so grateful to her um, she's just she's our number one supporter and I'm her biggest fan you know I'm so excited to see her running in the Boston Marathon I know she's gonna do amazing I know I will cross that finish line. You know, if I have to come in blood and tears or sweat, I'm going to do it. <laughs> so many of these touching stories, and Jamie did it. She finished with a time of five hours, 39 minutes, and 15 seconds. We caught up with her to see how she felt. I did it. I did it. I can't believe this moment. It's in, it's incredible. Just to, to be part of this, it's unimaginable. And I did it for my daughters. <laughs> because, yes, I did it for my girls. I wanted to quit at mile nine when I started cramping up. But I just kept pushing, knowing the pain they're in. I can do this, and I, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she did it all right. The tears of joy and tears for her daughters, too, that she accomplished just something amazing for them. A mom on a mission. Yeah, I actually saw her before the race started. She came over and said hello, and she was filled with energy oh, ready to do this great. thing. So good for her, yeah. Well, Audrey Cox will join us to tell us about Jamie McHugh's run after the break. Yeah, so don't touch that dial. If you still have a dial, we will be right back.